All right, so what we have here is a client has asked me to demonstrate what the one quarter inch radius gap looks like on a Bomber 7800 series. Um, and is a quarter inch necessary gap and what its relationship to is to the inch and a half radius. Well, I have a door drawn here and it is uh, inch and three quarter thick, inch and a half radius, and I've got a quarter inch margin that's there. Okay, um, so let's take a look and see what that looks like. So let's rotate the object. Okay, so that's what the object looks like as it rotates through. Let's copy. Let's put it at 335. Okay, let's do that again. Let's rotate it. I rotate, select, enter, give it a center point. Let's rotate that now and put it at 90 degrees. Oh, we're going to, forgot to copy it. Rotate, select the object. Enter, select your center point. Let's put that at copy 90. Okay. Now the important thing is let's pull some of these off. Let's let's leave this one. All right, let's rotate. Let's copy. Now, what you're seeing here is that it doesn't really encroach into the space at all. And as I wrote, demonstrated it earlier, we measure inside of here, we've got a quarter inch. We measure that. That's a quarter inch is what that's coming up. So the math on there is pretty good. The point is, is the confluence of inch and a half radius and quarter inch margin. Uh, could you make that quarter inch margin an eighth of an inch? Let's see. Let's take our jam, let's just squeeze it in so that it's an eighth of an inch. I've got it snapping. Now let's measure. It's an eighth of an inch. Let's take our object, let's rotate it. Sure, an eighth of an inch would be fine. With this logic, an inch and a half radius, a sixteenth of an inch would work as well. Okay, here we go.